Hey guys, Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our experience with our Electron carburetor. That's what's coming up next on Dirt Bike Channel. Ever since we did the video where we installed the Electron carburetor on our dirt bike, uh, I've been getting a ton of responses, a ton of questions asking about what I think about the Electron carburetor. Uh, so today I want to give you some more information. Part of the reason why it took me so long uh, to get some information out to you is because I have a full-time job and it doesn't have to do with dirt bikes, so I don't get to ride every day. Uh, if I'm lucky, I get to ride once a week. If I'm not as lucky, I get to ride once every two or three weeks. And, and in the recent past, it's kind of been every two or three weeks. Um, and then now it's getting colder too here in Utah where I live. So anyway, the Electron carburetor. I'm pretty excited about this thing. And I think the biggest compliment that I can give the Electron carburetor is the fact that I kind of forget that it's there. And isn't that what we're all looking for is a modification that we put on the bike and it gives us some, you know, some added benefit in one way or another. And then it just sort of melds into the bike and you don't even think about it anymore because it just becomes part of the machine and it's not something that you're worried about. And it's not something that you're tuning all the time. So that's been a pretty awesome thing. And in this video, I'm actually not going to talk about tuning the carburetor. I'm just going to talk about what my impressions have been of this thing. So I've put, I don't know, five or six tanks of gas through the carburetor and what I have really determined is that it's a phenomenal carburetor. Now, some of the guys have mentioned that it just made their bike run a ton better and, and it had a ton more power. Um, I think probably the guys that have experienced that didn't have their carburetor jetted very well to begin with, their stock carburetor. And that's kind of where I want to start with this review or these, you know, these, the thoughts that I have on the Electron. The Electron is amazing because they will, they, flow test that and dyno test that for your application as close as they possibly can. They know what your carburetor should be set at based on your bike when you buy it from them and they send it to you so it's ready to go. The cool thing about the Electron Carb is that it will run great at sea level and because of the design that they have in, inside that carburetor, it actually meters itself really, really well as you increase in altitude and as the air density you know decreases or increases it's it's a pretty phenomenal product and so because of that basically you just put it on the bike and then you can go you got to adjust your idle yeah but you're gonna have to do that with any bike make sure that it idles right and it's very easy to to adjust that and then the bike just runs so here's my experience the guys at Electron uh, they sent me a carburetor for this bike. It's a 36 millimeter uh, carburetor and basically they have it set so that it would run right at sea level. Well, I live, I live at 4,500 feet. All my riding or most of my riding is at, you know, 45, 46, 6,000. I'm riding at 6,000 feet up to maybe 11,000 feet. And this carburetor was actually running phenomenal straight from them. So I could have ridden it at sea level and then it was, it was running really, really well, as well as my key in carburetor was even at altitude. And I say, that's pretty freaking awesome. So here's the deal. If you are the person that either doesn't know how to work on your carburetor or doesn't want to work on your carburetor and it's, you're running the stock settings on your, on your, on your uh, stock carburetor, if you get a Electron carburetor for your bike, it's actually going to be a game changer, especially if you live at high altitude. Now, if you live at like 2,500 feet or sea level, then maybe your carburetor from the factory is kind of jetted real close to what you need. And so maybe you won't, you, you won't notice a huge improvement on the Electron carburetor. Uh, but for guys like me, they're riding at altitude. It was dial. It just ran really, really good straight out of the box from them. Now, I had been able to adjust my key and carburetor and do different jets and different needles to make it run really, really good. But if you're the guy who doesn't know how to do that or doesn't want to do that, then this carburetor is going to be a game changer for you because your bike is going to run phenomenal. And so for that, I say kudos. If, if you want to be able to just put it on your bike and go and not screw with anything, the Electron carburetor is pretty hard to beat. I know there are some other aftermarket carburetors out there. I haven't had a chance to test them, 
uh, but I have had a chance to test this one and I really, really like it. It ran clean on the low end, it ran clean on the mid, you know, and it runs clean on the top end. So what more do you want? Um, like I said before, I just kind of for, I've just kind of forgotten about it. I've run in different temperatures, I've run at different altitudes, and I haven't messed with it. Here, listen, we're out testing the Electron carburetor, and we've just put it on our bike a couple of days ago. We didn't do any adjustments to it, as you saw probably in the installation video, and now we've come up here to altitude. We started at, I don't know, I'll have to check the map, but it's about, what, 7,000, maybe 7,500 feet, and we've just come up the trail about a mile or two, we're probably, we've got to be at least 8,000 feet. This carburetor is set from the factory to go from sea level up to about 10,000 feet. Now the guys at Electron told me that this will definitely run really, really well from sea level up to 5,000 feet. And I said, is there anything I need to do to make this run from 5,000 feet up to 10,000 feet? And they said, you know what, probably just go out there and ride it. And if it feels a little bit mushy, then you might want to lean up that uh, main metering rod. Well, so far it feels really, really good. We're gonna keep riding and see how it feels as we continue to go up in altitude. But so far, thumbs up from me. But holy cow, for a carburetor that's supposed to be able to run like crazy at sea level, we're up here 9,500 feet and it's still running great. There's still no bog. If you just go whack right on, right on the throttle when you ride off idle, that thing doesn't bog at all, it responds. We're not testing a lot of wide open throttle right now. We're just doing the, uh, we're just doing mid range, you know, low RPMs and mid-range throttle because that's what this single track trail up here in the mountains allows us to do up here in the Alpine mountains. So thumbs up for me so far. I'm really liking Electron. Exception of, I leaned out the mixture just slightly by turning the metering, metering rod on this thing. I leaned it out because I know that I'm riding at these higher altitudes. And the guys over at Electron said, hey, if you want to, you can lean this thing out a little bit. Uh, and, and that's what I did. I just, I leaned it out, took like, a turn or two or a half a turn on the metering rod just to lean this thing out. I didn't even have to. I just thought I'm going to try this and see see if it you know if it if it even helps. Um, and the the fantastic thing is then every ride that I've done, whether it's been super cold or super warm or high altitude or or mid altitude, the bike has just run phenomenal at every one of those you know at every one of those different variables. And I just sort of forget about it. You know, the only way that I remember that I've got an electron carburetor is that the um, is the choke is on a different side. So that's my only down my only downfall about the electron is that the choke is actually here on the right side of the bike instead of the left side of the bike. So that makes it a little bit you know a little bit more difficult to get at the choke. But honestly, the only time I ever need the choke is on a really really cold morning, and I only need it the one time. I've never ever needed the choke other than when it was super super cold. You know, so uh, that, uh, keep, keep that in mind, the, uh, at least on, on the carburetor that I have, the choke's on the opposite side, so it's a little bit more difficult to get to, but you're not gonna burn yourself because your pipe isn't hot. You know, so I just, boom, get the thing running and then reach down there, put that, uh, you know, put, turn the choke off, and then I'm, um, then I'm off and going. So I've been pretty, pretty impressed with the, uh, the Electron package. And I think that this is a product that a lot of you guys would really, really enjoy having on your dirt bike. Now, if you are the guy who knows how to, do, knows how to dial your carburetor and you actually have your carburetor, carburetor jetted with the proper jets and the proper needles and you're a tweaker like that and you, and you have your, your uh, carburetor dialed in, then you will be pleasantly surprised to find that you can bolt on a carburetor that's going to run every bit as good as your tuned stock carburetor, you know, and you're going to probably get a little bit more response, better response right off idle. I mean, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. If you know how to work on a carburetor, you will be able to make this thing run because all you have to do is slap it on the bike and it's going to run great right from the guys over Electron. I mean, it's phenomenal. You're not going to have any drop off at all and you'll probably get better, better fuel economy. But for you guys that are not messing with your carbur carburetor, I've said this a number of times already, this will be a game changer for you because it's gonna actually make your bike run like it's supposed to run. Um, one of the things that the Electron guys have told me is that these carburetors are a little bit, are a little bit more fuel efficient. Now, I, don't have, I haven't had really a scientific way to test that, but I've heard this from other riders and I've heard this from the guys over at Electron and they're good dudes, I, I trust them. 
Um, they've given me some really good customer service. They've been really responsive to questions that I've had. And overall, my experience with, you know, customer service experience with the Electron guys has, has been really, really good. Um, and they tell me that a lot of racers and pro riders will run Lectrons just because you'll get a little bit further on a tank. They run a little bit more efficiently than your average carburetor. So another thing that I like about these Lectrons is that the float bowl is transparent. I'll try to run in a photo of this, uh, but you can actually see where your fuel is in the float bowl. So if you've got a problem, uh, you can easily adjust that. Now, they try to adjust those things uh, at, the, at the factory, but I had a situation on mine where when I got the bike, the, um, the float level, the fuel in, in the float bowl was just a little bit too high. Now, I contacted the guys at Electron. They said, well, it's not a problem, but it's a little bit higher than we'd like to see it. And they said, okay, we'll do this, this, and this, you know, pull it off and, and bend this little tab and, let, and let's get that fuel level back down. And so they kind of walked me through that. Um, and I, I knew what needed it knew knew what needed to happen, but I want I wanted to see if they thought that the float level was too high, and, and they did. Um, so there could be some little things like that you, that you may have to do. I, although I don't anticipate that because they are checking that kind of stuff at the factory. So it should be one of those mods that you just you know slip on the bike. Uh, you use a, a different throttle cable. So we, we already did the install video, but overall I've been very impressed and very happy with the Electron. And I feel I, I have no qualms with just recommending it widely to you guys. Um, it's, it's, it's a modification that uh, means that you'll be able to ride at 10,000 feet and then if the next weekend you're at 2,000 feet, you won't need to change anything on your carburetor. So that's a good thing. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Electron Carb. I might do another video where we just talk about tuning, but, but honestly, there's nothing really to do to tune this carburetor other than making sure that your, that your idle is okay. Most of you guys, if you, uh, if, you're, if you know how to tune a carburetor and you think you want to tune your Electron, all you're doing is taking that metering rod out and giving a, cup, you know, giving a half turn richer or leaner. So there's not really a ton of, uh, I don't really have a ton of tips for you for adjusting your electron carb because I haven't experienced the need to adjust it. So pretty phenomenal product. Go check those guys out and uh, thanks for tuning in.